Good, good morning, neighbors. Are you ready to see some newly listed homes on the Tarrant County market? Uh, good, because that's what we're here for. And welcome to your daily dose of dwellings with me, Joshua Sherman, real estate agent with Remax Trinity and KC Realty Group. And this is what I do every day, all day, as part of my job description um, as a agent here in DFW. I look at the MLS, which is the multiple listing service, and check out the new listings that are hitting the market. I like to check out the area that they're hitting, the price point that they're coming in on the market at, and the condition of the home. Plus, who doesn't look? looking at pictures and judging. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. I hope everyone has their delicious coffee. I have the Death Wish coffee, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag uh, Death Wish get at me. I promise if you if you let me sponsor your coffee, I will learn what your coffee's names actually are. <laughs> this is the blueberry one. It's pretty good. Um, so we're, uh, I've, I've got, I went ahead and pinned one of the uh, posts down below to a link which should go to your uh, new listings for today. So it's going to cover the listings that we see. And it's also an active live listing feed. So uh, throughout the day, right now we only have 14, um, which, you know, if you watch my stream in the past, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit slower, and then Thursday, Friday, we have a lot more surge uh, getting ready for the weekend and open houses and things. Um, so, more often than not, there's going to be a lot more homes that come on the market later on. So, make sure to check out that link uh, because it's going to be constantly updating with the newest listings here in Tarrant County. Um, specifically, only single family detached homes. We're not looking at condos, townhomes, most mobile homes, uh, single wide, double wides, manufactured homes, all of those things. Uh, nor are we looking outside of Tarrant County, and DFW is a very large place. We have like Jefferson County, Johnson County, Parker County, Tar or we already said we're doing Tarrant, uh, Dallas County, Denton County, Collin County, and the list goes on. So if you want to know any more information about those ones or any of the homes that we see today, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text. All of my content information is going to be in the description below. Um, and then also on my website, which is that link that I posted goes to my website. So there you go. Let's jump into the MLS. So the MLS is the multiple listing service for those who don't know. This is where all the realtors in DFW throw up their beautiful listings and then uh, it syndicates to all the third party websites like Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, um, all those cool things like that. And then additionally, um, we are able to send it out automatically or specifically to our clients who might be interested in these homes. So it's very nice uh, to really kind of dictate what your clients are seeing. Um, so let's hop on in. Today we have 14 to get through and that's a lot. So let's get through them and see where we're going to start. You can see like normally this would be flooded with open houses. We don't have a lot of open houses this week. And the reason being is because of Easter. Easter's Sunday. Um, a lot of the times, especially for holidays and um, <laughs> social holidays, I would call them like Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. One of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my career was going to uh, an open house and hosting an open house on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, ridiculous. Nobody came. It was a waste of time and I missed the halftime show. So there you go. <laughs> no fun. No fun all the way around. So that's more than likely why we're not seeing a lot of activity in open houses this week, but we do have a couple. So we're going to start off here in South Lake, Texas. Uh, this is 1105 Haven Circle. Uh, this is $949,999. I... They should have just said 950 and below. Come on, y'all. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, one half bath, three living areas, two dinings. Um, and this is 3,069 square feet. Lol. Uh, 2011 is when it was built. And this is listed by Redfin. And they do have an open house Saturday, 12 to 2. So let's check it out. I really like the brick. What subdivision is this in? East Haven. Yeah, this is a great one. Uh, no sidewalks, but it's all right. Because look at that. Beautiful landscaping out front. Really quiet community here. Isn't it so pretty? Little walking trails and everything. Gotta love it. You have the scraped hardwood engineered floors, trade ceilings in the dining with the crown molding. I like the staircase too. Oh, look, it virtually staged for us. Thank you very much. Uh, here we have the chair rails. Wow, see, that's what I like right there. That's that's the beauty, having that giant fireplace. Absolutely. I love it when the fireplace is the center and the focal point of everything. Uh, virtual staging. Such a ridiculous thing. I guess it helps people who can't envision their furniture in it. I would prefer to envision furniture in there. <sighs> nice. 
And of course you have your open concept still, so your living dining room kind of situation feeding into the living room. And you also have your recessed lighting everywhere, which is really nice, it makes it real sleek. Decent sized, uh, it's called a vanity island here. I really like that kitchen hutch too. And look, oh, it's not quite a full window seat, but it's kind of a window seat. You can definitely uh, put a table up against it and have little littles uh, sit down there. Oh, look at there. This is a nice master. I like that they uh, have the lights right here, um, illuminating the tray ceiling. That's really good. Yeah, I can sneak a peek at the bathroom. Look at that. Can't tell if that's by design or if they just scratch the heck out of their cabinets. Nope, that's just by design. Here we have the landing upstairs. Oh, virtually staged with a foosball table and pool table. Thank you so much. It is pretty spacious, though. You could put a pool table up there and it'd be all right. Ooh, and you have a media room on top of it. Nice. I like the little sconces. Oh, yes. See, I would get bigger chairs. That's nice, though. Oh, wow. And the chandelier in one of the rooms. That's how you know it's bougie. But I bet that chandelier doesn't have a fan, and fans are important. Uh, this is a cool feature. I like this. Having the This is Jack and Jill bathroom in between two bedrooms. So you have your vanity here for bedroom A, the shared tub, and then you have vanity B for room B, or the second room. That's such a great design. That way somebody's in the shower, you can still get ready, brush your teeth, look at the mirror, uh, do your hair, things like that, which I did not do this morning. It's probably falling down already. I don't care. It's so cold outside that I was just like, eh, I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to stay in bed. So I was a little late this morning. Bedroom seemed to be a decent size. I have the Spanish archways here. I also like, look how tall these ceilings are. That is wonderful. Having tall ceilings always makes it seem much more, um, much more spacious in the room. I also like how they have this indent here and they've actually covered um, in, in granite. <laughs> they've actually graneted the, the angle. So funny. Here we have a covered patio and it's not attached to the roof. There you go. That's actually really smart. That's really smart. That way it's not putting your foundation or anything in jeopardy. So there you go. Kind of a small backyard, but that's okay because look at all the walking space that you guys have, right? Just right next door. That is like prime location. Um, and they have your swing driveway right here. Oh, cute. It has a little canopy over the driveway too. Yeah, and the homes in the kind of area, that South Lake and Keller area, you either have like a fourth of a quarter of an acre or you have like two acres. So <laughs> this is the, the former of that one. Oh, thank you for the little design. Oh, uh, cool. So yeah, that's a really nice home. Great community. And, you know, Carroll ISD, one of the better school districts in DFW. Let's move on to where we're heading to next. All right, going a little south, a little bit further east, headed to Arlington. Uh, this is Overland Stage Estates. This is a great, um, we actually market to that property. We do we do little fun things uh, with flags uh, every 4th of July and uh, some people updates. This is a great little, great little neighborhood. 349,000 is what they're uh, asking for. Three bedroom, two bath, one living, two dining, and it has a pool. Gotta love a pool. A pool for 350 in Arlington is really nice. Uh, 1652 is the square footage. This was built in 1984. Arlington ISD, of course, and feeds into Martin, great school district, uh, great high school. EXP Realty, and they do have an open house, wonderful, on Sunday. Let's check it out. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Cute. I like this little tree. It might be a little too close to the roof of my liking. Um, especially if you're doing a VA or an FHA loan, they're going to want any kind of branches that are looming over the roof to be cut back. Uh, it's just one of their stipulations to make sure that the roof is protected and their asset is also protected. But I do love this tree. Ooh, aerial shot. Ooh and ah, him and who. Uh, really nice pool back here. And you have a little bit of green space, so it doesn't sacrifice all of it. So that's nice. Oh, I love that blue. Uh, yeah, mixed with that gold. Beautiful. And I like the fake parkour. Not parkour parquet flooring that they've done they've taken out the wood parquet flooring and they put it in tile <laughs> to make it more modern but in like an homage to the 60s and 70s that's so cute um love this color blue and then the tray ceiling is such a such a no lovely little feature Ooh, galley kitchen and look at that it has shiplap on the ceiling how interesting is that i love it don't love the fan in the kitchen i always think that's weird 
Um, but you could easily put that out with a, in favor of like a little chandelier or something. Uh, painted cabinets uh, with the new hardware, good on them. Actually putting hardware on your cabinets and mixing that wainscoting. So it gives you like a kind of like a country house or farmhouse feel, but very modern because of the uh, the gray that they chose, the gray and white color scheme. That's really nice. Of course, you have your eating kitchen. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Love that fireplace. Um, fake fire, but, you know, love the fireplace. <laughs> like I said, I love it when a fireplace is the center focus or the center home of the, of the home. And it has that large hearth and exposed beam up top, which is also a really nice feature. Ooh, oh, yeah. Wall of, wall of built-ins right there. I love it. Great for entertainment center right there. My coffee's so hot. Ooh, I really like this shiplock wall that they have as a headboard. It's not even a headboard. It's like the, the wall behind it, a little accent wall. I didn't even notice that. But you have shiplock up here, too. That's so cute. Love it because it has that A-frame kind of feel, which is very farmhouse. And so they really leaned into it. But they did it in a way that it doesn't look tacky. It, it's, like, it's like very nice. I like it. Here we have the bathroom. Love this old style floor. And I wish I could see the tile pool. Ooh, that wallpaper is so cool. Mixed with the wainscoting on bottom, giving it uh, uh, your eye a little bit of a break. That's really smart. That's really smart. Good choice. Love this bay window with the window seat. Love it. Nice, nice bad bedrooms. Oh, that's interesting. And it has a, <laughs> I don't know what this is called, but that little design, it's all the way three fourths of the way up the wall instead of like a quarter of the wall. That's pretty cool. Nice size laundry room. Yeah, this pool is good too. A little pool house back there, cabana. Yeah, like I said, it's nice that it has grass outside of the pool. You know, 349 in Arlington with a pool. Yeah, this is a great deal, y'all. This is a great one. And it's a cul-de-sac. Look at that. So you're not going to have through traffic. That's beautiful. Love it. And you're not the only one around that has a pool. So not all of your neighbors are going to come knocking on your door asking you, to, <laughs> asking you to spend time with your pool. So you can split the time with other people. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's a great find. Yeah, if you're looking for Arlington, that is a great one. All right, moving on. We're staying in over in Arlington, moving a little bit norther, norther, a little bit more north. Uh, Waterway Pork, Pork. Oh my gosh, Waterway Park. This is 448, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, two living, one dining. This was built in 1991 with 2,488 square feet. This is the largest one we've seen today. This is technically in Fort Worth ISD, feeds into Eastern Hills High School, mandatory HOA of 690. Uh, this is the Marine Group. I've worked with them before, nice. Uh, nice people. Here we have, oh wow, that little pond back there, little, oh, so good. Uh, love this tree as well. And the bay windows right here, I bet that's the kitchen. Nice, I think, I don't know if this carpet, that's weird that it has the carpet there in between the two tile that is the same. Uh, and then you have the different tile in the hallway too, which is unfortunate. Uh, the carpet does need a little bit of replacement. You can see it's a little bit of, a little dirty. But these ceilings, though, look at that. So pretty. And it's the dining room, not the kitchen. Uh, yeah, that's huge space. Love the fireplace, too. Tall, tall ceilings. They, they obviously love pink because everything has a pink kind of tinge to it. Yeah, it does. Wow. It's definitely pink. Open flex space here. Yeah. Whoop. Definitely love peak. <laughs> There's tons of storage though. Look how many cabinets it has. That is a ton of cabinetry. Little stove top. All the appliances look to be a little bit older, so just make sure to have an inspection to make sure that those are working properly. And just mm, uh, put it in your budget that you might have to buy new appliances. Decent sized laundry room, pretty simple. Uh, they definitely love that pink color scheme. It is, it is everywhere. Look at that old treadmill. How cool is that? Uh, large master with a huge window. I love this too. That's so nice. Oh, that's actually, I kind of like this wallpaper. Not the carpet. Carpet in the bathroom kind of geeks me out a little bit. Um, but I do love this little blue accent in the gold everywhere. And that old style Hollywood style lights. I'm sure it's hot in there, but I think it's really pretty. 
Let's switch those out with the LEDs and you'll be fine. Pool table. Little upstairs game room. Yeah, dual sinks in the bathroom. That's actually not really popular back in the day, so good on them. Yeah, the bedrooms at least are pretty pretty decent size. But man, everything is so pink. Whoa, look at the deck. Yeah. And it just feeds right back to that pond. So pretty. Absolutely. And then you have a little walking trail by the... It's not a pond, it's a lake, whatever. Uh, no, that's nice. It's a great location. It needs a little bit of updating, unless you like pink. Um, which is apropos that Barbie movie is coming out. So there you go. It's just Barbie's dream, ha ma dream mansion in Arlington. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it needs a little bit of updating in my opinion, but it's like from property. Um, how can you beat that? That is so good. Awesome. So let's move on where we're headed to next. Fort Worth Valley Brook. This is 5713 Mountain Stream Trail, 369. Three bedrooms, two bath, three living areas. Wow. Two dining, 2,332 square feet and built in 20, uh, 2008. Um, even though it's Fort Worth, technically, it is Keller ISD, which is so, so good. Keller ISD is one of the best ones in, in town. This is United Real Estate. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Two-car garage, but it does have the bay, each single bay doors, which is I think is really nice. Um, you have your tree out front, which they already have lights on it, so you don't have to worry about wrapping it for Christmas. Oh, little entryway here. <laughs> Chandeliers galore. This, this furniture is super cool. Um, entryway is a little small, but that's all right. It enters right into the living room. And from there, it just it's a straight shot to your dining room and left to the kitchen. Ooh, that is mustard yellow. Apropos for the kitchen. Um, I would definitely... These are probably builder grade cabinets. Uh, so the original cabinets from 2008. Easily paintable and put in little hardwares on there. Put hardware on your... On your things, people. <laughs> Put hardwoods in your cabinets. It also has that fluorescent light that I would totally take down. Uh, but a good size galley kitchen. I like how much space there is between each side. Sometimes galley kitchens can get really, really cramped. Uh, decent sized laundry room that has plenty of space up top for storage. I love this color blue. That's a great color. But this is a feng shui no-no. Having a headboard open the window, that's not okay. The headboard needs to be uh, towards the towards the wall. Feng shui no-no. Have you ever read The Art of Feng Shui? It is so fascinating. Uh, this is the upstairs living room here, or second room. They've like made it a true living room. That's pretty cool. Uh, but you can easily make a game room or something like that. Pretty standard builder. Um... Cabinet and chub tom chub tombo <laughs> shower tub shub <laughs> gross. I don't like that word. <laughs> uh, missing a fire alarm. Make sure to or a smoke detector. Make sure to put that up there. Uh, I can't tell if these floors are hardwood floors or if they're luxury vinyl planking. It's kind of hard to tell. Sometimes that luxury luxury vinyl planking is very convincing. Um, I think it's the vinyl planking. This looks to be. The master, you have your glass shower tub, and then your guarded glass shower box, and then your tub here, and then your little throne room. Thanks for splitting it up. Uh, I hate this. So pointless. We we're missing a cabinet. Just throw an extra door there, and you'll be fine. So one of my uh, past clients made a good uh, observation, and or uh, told us the, her story. Uh, that's where they put the clothes hamper, which is ingenious. This is a great place to put it. So, little half bath. Little patio too. It's not covered, but you can easily put a cover over here, like a little pergola, extend that patio a little bit. It's a decent size yard, absolutely. Man, that Keller ISD though, that is such a good, good school district that this price is actually really good for that school district. All right, y'all, we're moving down to one of the talked, most talked about things on the stream is the Mansfield. 
<clears throat> I'm telling you, if you're ever looking to move to Mansfield, they're wanting to the next five years or so, the sooner the better, especially at this price. Wow, $300,000, uh, just below $300,000. That is absolutely great. So in the next five to 10 years, they're building a movie studio down there. So uh, in, in addition to that, there's plenty of development that is happening. Uh, Mansfield is going to blow up. It's going to become the next main city. Uh, I, I think so anyway. So you have like your Fort Worth, your Dallas, you have your downtown Grapevine, which is really kind of popping. And I think Mansfield is going to be that south version of that. Um, Walnut Creek Estates, wonderful community, four bedroom, two bath, two dining, one living. Uh, no HOA. That's fantastic. Built in 1979. 2012 is when this was built. Uh, and this is 300000 or a little less than. This is a great introductory price point. Um, right now, it's like three, 300 to 315 320 It's kind of where the introductory price point is. Robinson Team, Real Estate LLC. Let's see what we got. Cypress Load. Okay. The elevation is really pretty. I like the... I really like the landscape that they've chosen, that they've done. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. I can't tell if I like it or I hate it. <laughs> the artist in me is like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. But the the person who lives in the house in me is like, I don't know if I like that. I like it. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to say I like it. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's crazy enough and, and like kooky enough that I really do like it. Yeah. Whoa. I want to see it in person. I bet it's going to be looking a little different in person. But anyway, you have your foyer. Uh, foyer. Um, to the left of here, you have this cool room. Wow. I wonder if this, I hope wallpaper is everywhere else. Um, you do have this blue accent wall, so good on them. Popcorn ceilings easily scraped off. You do have this exposed beam, super popular. The, you can tell that the carpet has been worn, though. Look at that. That's a straight path everywhere you're walking. Their coffee table sat right there. You can tell. Um, love this fireplace. This is taking up the entire wall. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more center, but it's okay because you can put something here to kind of balance everything out. Yes, wallpaper. Okay. This is, isn't a kitchen wallpaper, in my opinion. I would put that like in the bathroom or something. Uh, but I love the color. Love the color. And you have the um, wainscoting in the little kitchen area, the kitchen, dining kitchen, uh, or the Eden kitchen that matches your cabinets here so that's inspired choices all right this is the large master bedroom so one thing to note you can kind of see in the pictures right here on the trade ceilings on your on your elevated ceilings there seems to be a little crack so with ceilings like this that's not terribly uncommon it could easily just be uh the stress of the house so just normal settling it could just be the tape in bed is, is, is a done job or a terrible job and it's kind of falling apart there but it is definitely important that is one of the indicators is to look for a crack uh, for foundation issues or foundation movement uh, so just make sure to, that the inspector sees that and um, when they're out inspecting the house uh, make sure to check out the foundation and see if you can get a uh, either a structural engineer out there to do a report um, or a repair company just to get an estimate of what they would recommend the best um, thing to do to optimize your um, foundation so here we have your shell sinks this is straight up 80s um, cool well, cool wallpaper in here it's very washy and watery this is a little concerning uh carpets disgusting carpets in the bathrooms hate it i would definitely rip it up carpets need to go pretty good size bedrooms <laughs> one carpet no gross take it out but i like this i do like this this would be cool and like a and like a library or 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 something like that maybe even an office as an accent wall yeah, that's so cool. Fourth bedroom, that's actually really big, and it does have um, a built-in. I would probably use this as an office, uh, which I think is what they did, I imagine. Yeah, and that backyard space is huge, too. Yeah, so it's not arguable. You could technically move in and live there. Um, I wouldn't call it move-in ready, though. I think it needs a little bit of updating, but easily done. Uh, the major things I saw was just making sure the foundation was good. Um, but outside of that, just taking up the carpet. If you take up the carpet, put new floorings down, that's fine. You can live with wallpaper for a while. Um, if you don't like it, I would probably keep it. <laughs> Most of it. Probably not the one in the kitchen, um, but I really liked the entryway in that bathroom. I probably would keep it. Um, 
so yeah, it needs a little bit of updating, but for 300,000 and in the Mansfield ISD uh, in Mansfield, when it's going to be popping up, that that your home appreciation is going to skyrocket in the next two years. So it'll be two to three years. It'll be definitely work of it, 100%. All right, who we are? Oh, oh, did it not load? Did it load? No, go to the next one. There we go. Um, moving up, uh, back to North uh, Fort Worth, 6412 Paradise Valley in the Crescent Place. Uh, this is 385. Uh, this is Fort Worth ISD. Four bedrooms, three and a half bath, one living, one dining. 2007 it was when it was built. 3,353 square footage. That is just so much. So much square footage. Uh, Keller Williams on Star DFW. Let's see what we got. Miss Paradise Valley. How's your paradise? This is so cute, having the little walkway up to your... It's hard to... I think it might be the fish lens of the thing, but it looks like the house is going like this. You see that? I think it might just be a, a, a picture issue. We'll look on the inside, see if there's any indications of foundation shifts or movements. I've totally seen this floor plan before. Here we have your... It's funny, after a while you're like, oh, I've, I've shown this house. Not the specific house, but I've shown this house. Um, anyway, luxury vinyl planking in the living room, or throughout the house probably. Uh, builder grade, um, fireplace, not too much updates. So they did paint, it looks like, because they do have that newer style paint and the flooring is different too. Uh, that's a cool chandelier. Kitchen. Oh, they dropped the little uh, garage door opener. It's just hanging out in the kitchen. Uh, black appliances. Pretty. Doesn't look too new, but they look to be in okay condition. They're at least shiny. Uh, non granite or non stone type um, countertops. But this is a huge island. That's a lot of prep space. And you have a little seating area too, which is nice. And it goes all the way around. So tons of bar seating. Um, lots of cabinet space definitely could upgrade those a little bit put handles on your drawers everybody come on the more i see it, i'm like why your grubby hands are touching the wood uh here we have the master bedroom that's interesting it doesn't bay it just points that's pretty cool what would you do there i'd probably put a chair here and dueling chairs i don't know having a point that's interesting here we have the master bath there's a lot of space in the middle there. You probably could extend that uh, bath and shower a little bit, make it a lot bigger, and it'll look really nice. I do like this little window seat that they have in this bedroom, though. A decent sized backyard, too. I didn't see any foundation movement, so maybe it was just that first picture. I think it was just a, a trick of the eye. Um, but it's always good to have inspections uh, for foundation, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, Fort Worth ISD, this is a nice home. Let's move on, see what we got here. This is staying in Fort Worth, but Heritage Edition. Yeah, this is a great one. 4325 Thorpe Lane. Uh, 440 is what they're asking for it. Four beds, two and a half baths, two dining. No, that was a lie. Two living, one dining, two car garage. Uh, again, in Keller ISD. Uh, such a great Heritage Edition is such a cute little subdivision too. Um, what's great about it is that it's in Keller ISD and it doesn't have an HOA. It's even better. Um, 2007 is when it was built, 2,689 square feet. Kelly Williams, Lone Star Edition. Load, load, load. Oh, how cute is that? That little facing there. That's like, it's, call, it's like a callback to the 70s. Um, I can't think of the name that it's called, but there's like whole entire houses with this kind of, this kind of siding. I really like it. it. It's so retro. It's like a cobblestone, but with wood. Uh, I need to find out what that's called, but I really like it. I think it's pretty. I wish I wish more of it were on the front of the house, actually. Um, newer flower beds. Thank you for the new mulch. It gives it a little pop of color. Baby tree. Oh, that's okay. This is like a teenage tree. Nice, spacious living room. Definitely. What I've seen people do, and a couple of these, which I really like, and if I ever get like a builder grade type of... Type of um, fireplace like this you can paint this back and it makes it stand out a little bit more makes it more of a focal point and that's a personal preference i want my i would want my uh fireplace to be a focal point of the room um nice little dining room area Ooh, 
cute. I like how it has a serving window to the kitchen, so easy access. And it also has these little pillars from the front or side and from the front here. It's cute. Uh, cabinets, they looks to be in good condition, but please put hardware on your cabinets and drawers, people. Ah, so gross. Um, you do have an oven and a cooktop, which is really cool. Built-in microwave. The appliances look to be relatively new. And it's a gas cooktop, too. Gotta love cooking with gas. Yeah, recessed lighting really elevates the place. Here we have your solarium. Um, or built-in patio. For the those less bougie. It does have a window unit here, which is nice. So it's going to keep a little bit cooler in the summer. This is not technically part of the house. Uh, it's just enclosed space. So I think it does count as square footage. Um, I have to check with an appraiser for that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I wish there was another photo of it. It could be just the reflection, but it looks like this wood right here is stained a little bit. I uh, definitely would want to look into that in person just to make sure uh, that there's no damage because that's something either a seller uh, could repair um, or seller concessions in lieu of that to just to see because uh, that's going to, if you're not going to put your bed there, if you want to put it over here or something, you don't want that giant stain in the middle. Here we have, oh, that's interesting. In the master here, you have this little pedestal in the corner. I wonder why. What's under there? What a waste of space. I would cut into it and like make it a, like a lazy Susan or something. Give it an extra cabinet. They've already taken away the cabinet for the chair. But I do like the updated um, white here. And then it also has the black handles. Backyard, pretty nice. Pretty nice size, especially for that area. Doesn't need too much. And this little flower bed, you can put little cute things in there, I'm sure. Sweet, that's a cool little home. Absolutely, pretty much moving ready. There's a couple of things I would check into just before, just to make sure. Um, but yeah, a little, a little nice little home over in Keller ISD, and we're halfway through. Uh, let's move on. We're headed up to Chisholm Trail, um, or down, I suppose. This is 51. 100 Beautyberry. Beautyberry Drive. What a cute name. Uh, 465,000 is what they're asking for. Batch three baths, one and one for living and dining, built in 2022. So this is just shy of a year old. Uh, 2,166 square feet and a quarterly HOA dues of 178. This is Ecclesia Real Estate. How cool. That's a cool name, too. This is Crowley ISD, of course, is right off the 35, not 35, Chisholm Trail. Um, I really like this color scheme out front. I'm not usually fond. I've, I've said this before. I say it so much that I think I might be fond of it. I just like it in a certain way. <laughs> but I'm not usually fond of this stone and brick elevation, the mix of the two. But I do like the lighter brick and the lighter stone a lot more. And this marries them completely. And it brings it together with the black accents everywhere. Yeah, this is this is gorgeous. I love this. This is I love it. Love it. Great elevation. And look at the baby tree. Grow big and strong, little buddy. Here we have the entryway. Large ceilings or tall ceilings, which is wonderful. Here we have... Interesting. So this would have been the dining... Well, yeah, this would have been the dining room. And they've kind of made it like a little seating area. Um, and then the, this would be the kitchen or the uh, dining room. <laughs> it's the living room, but they made it the dining room. I think. Yeah, they kind of flipped it a little bit. And then there's enough space over here that they made it a living room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you could do so much in this because it's just space. Here we have the, yeah, here's a better shot of it. So this is the more designated living room. Yeah, I guess that is just a little flex room. How interesting is that? It's a little, so this is what we would call, or what I call a shotgun house. So this is the front door. It's a straight shot right to the back door. So literally you could shoot a gun and you could shoot it throughout the house, front door to back door. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I think it's, I think it makes it feel a lot more townhomey, um, a, little, a little bit more apartment um, kind of feel, but there's a lot of space that you can utilize with it. Now that's the benefit of it is that you can choose to do with that kind of space since it's all just open. Um, here we have your cabinets. Thank you for putting handles and those are big handles too. Uh, really nice color scheme in here. Cooktop, gas cooktop. Really like this backsplash. And I really like that this that the island has the sink, and this one has the dishwasher too. 
Ooh, nice size pantry. Look at that. Yep, here we have the living room space of that portion. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, man, that's just a curtain. I thought that was... I saw this right there. And I was like, oh, they've shiplapped just that little section of it. That's a great idea for anyone who wants to buy it. This is also a no-no. Um, feng Shui no-no. You're not supposed to have your headboard by a window. Terrible. But beautiful bay windows. And, and pretty spacious. Um, master bedroom. So... I think it's funny, and this just is a realtor thing. So we've called it Masters for a long time, uh, but I guess about a year or so ago, there's MLS, our MLS updated, and they called it instead of the Master, they started calling it the Primary. Um, and I just thought that was so funny. And that's how it's the it's the Primary Room, not the Master Bedroom. It's the Primary. That's like the PC way of saying the Master now. Here we have your quintessential uh, shower, glass shower, and garden tub combo. I think it might be the photo because that looks like a very, a very stout tub. Um, I don't even know if a child could fit in that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just the way that the photo was taken. Um, but that looks very tiny. Is that just me? What do y'all think? I love it though. You do have a large dual sink um, cabinets, and there's no place to sit. No, no, uh, no uh, vanity seating, which is beautiful. I prefer that. Oh, wow. A closet so big you can turn into an office. No, no joke. This, this guy put it into a whole entire stream setup. How cool is that? A recording studio, more than likely. You used to see a little piano and a little guitar. Um, here we have one of the bedrooms. It doesn't have a fan that's easily installed, though. Oh, nice. They've updated this little shower, or the builder grid, a little bit. Um, they took away that thing, and they actually tiled it with a little subway tile. Very nice. A little strip of purple, Fra streak of color. Again, no uh, ceiling fan, but you can fix that. Man, allergies have been killing my killing me for like the past two weeks. Um, love this purple. Here we have the third bedroom. I'm sorry, the third bathroom with the same setup. They did a nice little updates in there. Oh, wow, that's a huge laundry space. Pretty decent sized backyard. Yeah, I really, really like this front elevation. 465 over in the uh, Her uh, Chisholm Trail. Yeah, this is great. Great little find. All right, moving on over up a little bit more north and east to Ulysses. Uh, this is Bear Creek Estates. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath, one living, two dining. This is 515 is what they're asking for it. And that's why. Grapeville, Colleyville, ISD. Such a great school district. 1980 is when it was built. 2,091 square feet. Um, this is ready real estate. And then there's an open house uh, Saturday from 9 to 4. Uh, if you're stopping by the open house, let them know that I sent you. And I can answer any questions that you possibly have about the homes. Um, can't make the open house? Just let me know. I'll take you. Uh, cute little elevation. I love that they put these little window shutters. It's so symmetrical. So cute. Oh, it has a little... A little uh, desert forest kind of landscape here in the corner. Yeah, that's nice. Quarter lot. Is it a quarter lot? Yeah, I'm assuming it's a quarter lot. Kind of looks like a quarter lot. <laughs> yeah. I right, like it. A little extended patio here. Here we have either a bedroom or an office space. Hard to tell. Whoa, I like it. Love the one that has windows. Uh, not windows, sunroofs. It has the exposed beams, and look at that fireplace. Nice. It's tiled throughout, too. Nice. I really like this blue that they've chosen for the shiplat. And look at the organization. They've sacrificed this closet and turned it into a wine closet, or a spirits closet. Alcohol cabinet. Gotta love it. That's really cool. Yeah, little Eden kitchen area, and the kitchen over here is a great space. Tons of countertop space, lots of cabinets. Uh, it looks to be painted cabinets when they added the hardware too. Glass top, cooktop. Yeah, this is nice. Good, good updates. Good job. Here we have a large closet, water closet, utility room. Oh, cute little wainscoting in the bathroom. 
Oh, wow. This is the master. So that's a big furniture piece. This is a king and two furniture pieces on the other side. If you still have space. Yeah, the great size master. And it has a barn door. Cute. I love this tile that they've chosen for this shower. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, and that has this little green accent over here, too. I wish they would have carried it over right here, too. Um, just get the tile added over there when you buy it. That's really pretty. I really like it. Great updates, y'all. They have the mirrored dual sinks, which is beautiful. Oh, how cute. They're like little amoebas. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're cute. Here we have the one of the spare bed bathrooms. The bedrooms are really nice size. How cute is this? Time, rosemary, sage. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a nice little patio. Little pergola out front and the little fire pit on the flagstone staff. Flagstone patio. So cute. Yeah, that's nice. You could put a hot tub back here. Maybe not a pool. It'd be very tight if you put a pool back here. Uh, but enough little play for a playset and a little storage shed. Yeah, that's a great little home. That's a great little home. And Bear Creek Estates is one of it's a really great, really great little uh, community. Staying north, but we're headed a little further west to Saginaw. This is Spring Creek. One of my first homes I ever sold is in Saginaw. Uh, 389900 Four bedrooms, three baths, two living, two dining. Uh, HOA mandatory of 91 quarterly, which is nothing. Uh, 2017, 2,507 square feet. This is, of course, Eagle Mountain, Saginaw ISD. Better homes and gardens. More specifically, better home corner winans or winans. Never knew how to say it. Let's see what we got here in, over in Saginaw. This is a two-story house. Really nice elevation. I love these little Christmas tree fir trees. I think they're called fir trees. So cute. Um, nice little dining room area. You could probably turn it into an office. We don't use a dining room. Um, anytime we eat, it's at the couch <laughs> watching, watching TV. Uh, so we'd probably turn it into an office or something. Um, here we have a kitchen. Love that has a pantry and then the island again having the sink, which I, I really like. I love these darker chocolate kind of espresso uh, um, cabinets. Gas range. It's really nice. Of course, you have your open floor plan kitchen and then dining room area and then your living just all one little area. Ooh, nicely done. I love the shiplap. It's nice. A little pop of, like, something fun. Now they need to extend that and do other colors everywhere else. Here we have the master bedroom. See, this is the, the how by design how it's supposed to work. You have a headboard uh, facing, if you want windows behind you, that's the way to do it. Having it on the other side. So feng shui checks out. Good job. Here we have your uh, shower tub combo, which is pretty... Pretty, pretty standard here. Love the chocolate, like a, the chocolate espresso cabinets. And then the dual sinks is always lovely. Cute. Good sized bedroom. Doesn't have fans. Easy fix. 150 or so at Home Depot. Look at the little stars. How cute is that? I remember those stars. I threw them around like ninja stars. That's what I did with them. Nice space upstairs. Extra living room or game room. Yeah, that's good. That's a nice space up there. Here's the spare bedroom. And look, look, oh, I was hoping it would be another one, but they did it too. We saw this one yesterday. So sometimes, so this has the arch, um, the, the arch, which is really nice, a beautiful upgrade in the spare bathrooms. And a lot of the times uh, they don't want to take the time and uh, cut out that curve in tile. So they just stop and they'd have one straight line of tile and then the drywall um, is remaining. So they actually cut out the tile and then... Uh, made it seamless with the curve and I love that it's great thank you for that attention to detail beautiful beautiful look at that green space back there so it's always unless there's a green belt which I'd have to check just to see if it is a green belt but you can never trust an empty lot next door because uh, you could say oh this is beautiful and I'm not gonna have any neighbors behind me but little did you know that there's a, actually a sub development going in there and they're gonna have a giant uh, <laughs> I don't know Probably not a, a, a commercial building, but, you know, having another house right back to, back to yours. Unless it's a green belt, which means they can't do that. Um, but never trust an empty lot. Always look into it. 
Yeah, this is nice. Beautiful, beautiful little playset. Yeah, this is great. Beautiful home. Moving on over where we're seeing Bedford. Head a little bit further east and a little further down south. Um, Bedford Park Estates. Uh, this is 304 Ashford Drive for 449000 This is built in 1985. No HOA. 2,358 square feet. That's actually really big for, uh, for that area. Four bedroom, two and a half bath, two living, two dining. Abby Halliday Realtors. Let's see what we got here. I just took allergy medicine before I started a stream, so it's finally starting to break everything up. And I'm like, no, <laughs> not now. Wait for a little bit longer. Uh, love these hedges out front. I would go full Edward Scissor hand out here. Um, and there's no HOA, so no one could stop me. <laughs> and I would make those different shapes. Absolutely. 100%. Oh, I'd missed that it had a pool. Beautiful. Love it. And these little shrubs right here are so cute. Uh, ooh, this fireplace is so cool, too. Nice, nice little living room. It has this um, little beam. Nice. Non-stone type hardwood surface for the countertops. Easily upgraded if you wanted to. And they put handles on their drawers and cabinets. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, there's a little beam in here too. How cute is that? Easily update this if you wanted to, but it does look like it has older appliances. They look to be shiny, which kind of could be, they could be in good condition, but make sure you have your inspector and review those and just put in your budget that you might need to buy new appliances. So I would probably, it'd be hard to do it. So this A-frame right here goes all the way from the living room to the dining room kitchen area. I'd probably blow this out and make it a true open concept It'd be hard to do here though, because you're gonna. I don't want to. I wouldn't want to sacrifice the cabinets here, but I might. I probably would sacrifice the cabinets here and just left it um, almost like a galley kitchen and have uh, having having that just facing outwards. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what we would lose. Yeah, you could easily do it. You, should, you would just lose this cabinet. Oh, and I didn't even see this. You'd lose the phone too. Oh no, not the corded phone. Uh, so you lose one, two cabinets in these stupid cabinets that hardly anyone uses. Um, the stuff that is in that cabinets, just throw it away because you never use it. That's why it's up there. Uh, so you'd only be losing this and blow, blowing this out. Uh, so you just have the sink and you can look into the kitchen. That would get rid of that little archway up there um, and open up the space a little bit more. That's probably what I would do here. Yeah. Love this built-in though. Cute. Little, oh, nice little chandelier. Ooh, love this wainscoting. And they've, and they've uh, done it up here too in the tray ceiling. That's beautiful. Love this color green. Scrape those popcorn ceilings, y'all. I also like that it had the built-in with a little desk. This is a this was built in 1985. This is before its time. It was like one of these days. This this in-home office that's built in is going to become prime location. Uh, carpet looks to be a little bit older, a little bit used, but that's all right. Love this color blue. Nice, and it has the gold accents already. Those are probably left over from the 90s, but uh, actually. It's hard to tell if they're newer or older, um, but I was going to say the, the newer the newer feel is the dark blue with the gold brushed kind of um, like you have the brushed bronze or the brushed chrome or silver. The gold is becoming really popular, too. Um, so that is either a relic of the past that would uh, <laughs> you could update easily um, or they just recently installed those and they just chose the blue or the gold because they had the blue wall. Look at the old tub. Wow. Blast for the past. Oh, this is cool. It's a little hamper. Usually the hamper is flat, but they've matched it with the um, countertop here. That's actually really smart. I like that. Uh, that's really cool. It, it's a little weird that it stops and then it just goes directly to drywall. I would want like a shiplap down here or like a wainscoting kind of situation going on or a different wallpaper, a little design. Uh, but it's all right. It does have fans in the bedrooms, which is nice. <laughs> a little bit more outside. The outside is so cute, too. Oh, my gosh. And that pool. 
So yeah, it needs a oh, it has extra space on the side too. Yeah. Oh, it has a little storage shed. Yeah, this is great. This is a little great find. It, has, it needs a couple of updates, uh, but easily, easily done. It could be moving ready. You wouldn't have to do anything if you didn't want to. All right. Moving down to Jarvis Town, North Jarvis Heights. This is 1405 Selene Street. Looky here, 175,000, under 200,000 in Fort Worth. Ooh, that is a, that's crazy. Three bedroom, one bath, one living, one dining. 1,030 square feet, um, 1954 Fort Worth ISD. And this is RJ Williams & Co. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is such a cute home and it's 175. This would be a great starter home. Absolutely. It has sidewalks and there's no HOA. Yeah, there's no HOA and it has sidewalks. No garage, but it's okay. You have a little carport. Thank you for showing us outside. I want to see inside. <laughs> Let me in. All right, here we go. Uh, here we the entryway. Here we step down into the living space, which is not bad. I just have the shiplock wall, but you can paint it. I think it looks like they kind of did paint it. Ooh, cute little kitchen. Not a bad size. It has cabinet, a countertop space, and you have your uh, laundry room right there. It has to be a stackable, but hey, at least it has it. it. Needs a little bit of repair on the ceiling. Here we have the main living room, I suppose. Yeah, the carpet definitely needs to be coming out, but I really like this. This wall looks to be in good condition. That's so original. Here we have your half bath. Nope, you're not half bath, your spare bath, your only bath. Not a bad size. This little vanity is all you need. Uh, here we have the hardwood floor. That's probably original and they've updated a little bit. It does, of course, have a little stress fracture here and here. So definitely check out the foundation. But I mean, older homes, uh, not bad. Thank you for those shots. Uh, bad, big, big, big backyard. Not a bad size at all. Has a little shed. I wonder if the boat comes with it. Yeah, this is a great size backyard. Throw away some of the stuff, but I mean, for one seventy-five. Oh uh, yeah. You could do some updates to this, probably spend 10, 15, 20,000, uh, put it back up to 2,000, and then you could flip it easily, probably for like, you know, 240, 250 in this area. Um, or you can buy it as is, uh, do a little quick fixes just to get rid of the carpets that's there and, and spruce it up a little bit and rent it out. And that, that monthly rent in that area is gonna easily cover this mortgage. So this would be a great investment property um, if you're looking to rent, um, or if you're looking to flip and make a little extra profit, uh, if you're a first time home buyer who's okay with doing with living in a little project, um, because it's it has everything you need, um, it's not a bad size, not a bad location either. So absolutely, that's really nice. Moving on up and a little bit further to the right, we got Haltom City, uh, 2300 Fincher Road and uh, West Haltom. This is 226,000. Ooh, another, another single, uh, um, for some home buyer, uh, below below three hundred thousand, uh, two bedroom, one bath, so a little bit smaller, one thousand twenty four square feet, nineteen forty six. It was when it was built. Um, this is listed by Open Door, so of course they're going to have um, open houses every day. Such a cute elevation. Look at that little ship lap, and they've painted it white and black, bring it up into the modern era. Ooh. I like these hardwood floors and they painted it. This is a smart for them because it's the lower ceilings or the eight foot ceilings. So they've painted it white up here and left the walls a darker color that uh, plays a tricks on your eyes. Uh, the white lily really encapsulates that light and elongates it, makes it seem a little bit bigger than it actually is. And the windows and the natural light also help with that. I don't care about your virtual staging. Let me see the bedroom. Um, nice, it looks like there's new, like uh, little hardware here, little new doors it looks like little carport it looks like there's two car carport spaces it's tandem so you'd have to pull in right behind each other but you know with all the hail that we've had recently that's not a bad idea little front porch oh cute the kitchen's so cute little dining area yeah they've done some really good updates in this one love this i love the little um one it's a window it's huge and really nice uh but the, then they've have this little black accent or gray accent yeah good size bedrooms 
A great size backyard with that deck. You need to put a fence in here if you have a dog, because right there it's just open to the front. Uh, and everyone else's fence just kind of takes care of the other sides of the house. Um, probably over here too. But this is this is really great. 226 in Haltom City. Um, Birdville ISD. This would be great. Great starter home. Great investment property. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a great find. I would jump on this. I would jump on that for sure. All right, headed a little bit further south and a little bit further east to Grand Prairie to finish us off. This is 489,900 in Miro Lagos. Such a great subdivision. Four bedroom, three, two, uh, three bathroom. It is a two bedroom, two living room, one dining, uh, 2,430 square feet, built in 2016. Uh, HOA dues are $700 uh, annually. This is True One Realty. They do have an open house from two to four. And absolutely stop by, because this is gorgeous. I love Mira Lagos. Um, and this is such a great, such a great, uh, such a great area. And it's Mansfield ISD. You know how it is in the Mansfield. Look at that three car garage, beautiful. I also like it has bay windows, but it covers over and it has this little inlet on both sides. I've not seen that before. That's really nice. <laughs> Love the landscaping that they've done out front. It looks really clean, little clean, really uh, profesh. Look at all the baby trees out back. How cute is that? You know, believe it or not, I thought that was virtually staged at first. It's not. That's just their house. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, this is the bedroom out front. So those are the, those are the big windows there. It could be used as an office, but they're using it as a bedroom. Whoa, I really like these floors. This is the uh, hardwood tile. Um, so it looks like hardwood floors, but it's tile, which is so durable. And look at that. Oh, yeah, fireplace. I would probably paint it a little bit because it's a little too yellow for me. But I love that it has that corner up there. It goes all the way to the top. Ugh, love it. Uh, black chocolate dark espresso cabinets. And of course, they've had the handles. Good on y'all. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is real nice. They've done a really good job updating it. I love this. Absolutely love this. Beautiful. Yeah, this is real nice, y'all. Is this the master? I think this is the master. There's so much space in here. You can have a full bed, and they've created an entire office, and you still have space. Yeah, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And there's a desk over here, too. Wow, that's a huge, huge master. I love this blue with this gold. Blue and gold, I told you, it's really popular right now. Um, this probably hasn't been touched since 2016, but that's all right. Maybe the hardware is a little different. This fan in the bedrooms, got to love it. Still has a, that uh, same tile. Good size bedrooms. Here we have the half bath downstairs. Not half bath, spare bath downstairs. Uh, cute. This one doesn't have a fan. That's all right. Nice size, though. Good size rooms. Absolutely. And here we have this. This is the upstairs uh, little game room slash media room, second living room, whatever, however you want to call it. Here we have the third bathroom. Same setup. Yeah, nice size bedrooms. A little garden out back. Yeah, this is great. This is a cute home. Mansfield ISD. Absolutely. A little shots of the neighborhood here. Yeah, that's a great home. Mira Lagos is such a great community. Awesome. I really like this one. I really like that fireplace. And they've done a really great job at uh, uh, at their updates and keeping it up to date. Especially since it was, it was only built in 2016. So they really... Ooh, that was crazy. Uh, they really have uh, taken great care of it. All right, y'all. Well, that was all of the homes today. We got through 14 of them. Congratulations. Um, let me know if you want to see or... Uh see any of those homes in person or have any more questions about those. Uh, if you want me to set up a search outside of the Tarrant County single family home for you, that way you can kind of check your own local market. Feel free to let me know. Like I said, all of my contact information is in the description below. Um, additionally, if you looked at the pinned comment that is the just listed homes, it should take you to my website and shows you the homes that came on just this morning and all the homes throughout the day um, that come on. So that's just that just listed and I think it's 24 hour period so you can see some of the ones that came on yesterday between yesterday's streams and today uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your Thursday uh, let me know if you have any real estate questions if you want to sit down and talking about selling your home buying a home uh, if you need a new lease um, your lease is up and you're looking for something better 
bigger or in a different area. Um, even if you want to look at some investment properties and talk about numbers there and how to get started in that. Uh, today's stream, I think we saw two really great opportunities for investment, um, either for renting or for flipping. So either one of those is going to be uh, something I can help you with as well. So give me a call, uh, shoot me a text, DM, leave comments, all of those fun, fun things. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your coffee and we will see you tomorrow for your next daily dose of dwellings. Bye y'all.